Hola. I pray you are wonderful. I often find that in the moment of starting these, all I want to do is breathe with you. So, if you're watching, breathe with me. I invite you at this time to open up our mouths, right? Allow the breath to fill your body as if your body itself was a balloon. So that as you inhale, the whole body expands. And we are so used to just breathing through our nose. However, that creates patterns that um, you may or may not be aware are happening. And so in order to gain access to the fullest, most expansive breath that you can, I want you to open up your jaw. You may even find um, placing your tongue on the upper palate of your mouth. And as you inhale, allow the breath to expand your whole body. Let it fill your pelvic floor. Allow yourself to feel the achiness in your hips and your lower back. Feel the achiness. Expand so much that you actually feel resistance and achiness. And then allow it to just fall from your body. So as you take the next three breaths, expand and draw in, allowing the jaw to open, get taller in the spine. Allow, allow those breaths to fill the body Feel the achy, that's good. And then release it. And notice that each and every time you take a breath, you gain access to more of your body. That's beautiful. So, so much to speak of. And I've been asking what it is that is most important. Joy. Joy. Can you find joy in this moment, in your being, without resistance? Simply experience joy. Breathe into it. Expand it. Know that you are worthy of experiencing that experience all the time. Sometimes only in, you know, I was going to say 10 second increments, but sometimes five. <laughs> Sometimes we get to experience joy in like, you know, three to five second increments. But our job is to consistently go back to the experience of it and breathe life into it. Breathe life into the experience. And then allow that breath to expand outwardly from you and feed everyone else. Yeah. So, this weekend is a very powerful, powerful time.
we are in such a powerful moment of time. This solstice and eclipse happening at the same time. Interesting. Very interesting. I encourage you, use this energy. Use the power and energy that is there for you to anchor more into authentic joy and love. Allow it to pour out of you so vastly that it feeds the water, feeds the earth, feeds the air. And if you are in resistance to this experience, ask yourself why. Why do you deem yourself unworthy of experiencing joy in just this moment? Just this moment. Not a moment beyond it. Maybe not even a moment before it. This moment. Can you allow yourself the opportunity to experience joy right now? There always has been and always will be pain. To exist is painful. To not experience pain, whether it be emotionally, physically, psychologically, any version of pain, to not experience that is death. That's it. We were not brought here to not experience that which we are not. We came here, we had to experience that which we are not in order to understand who we were. However, the only way we got there is by choosing. We chose every step along the way. Every step along the way, we chose whether we anchor our decision in love or hate, in communion with source energy, or separation from source energy, right? And a separation from source energy makes us feel more powerful. It makes us feel um, elevated. It makes us feel superior, right? To a person, place, thing, situation, right? So if in any given situation, you feel more superior uh, coming out of the experience, then you've most, no, most likely not chosen to walk the path with the Creator, with God. Um, and I would look at that. That any place and time that you actually experience an experience of superiority, is out of alignment with Creator. Yeah. And when we are humble and gracious, coming out of any experience, feeling the experience, right? Literally going into the experience, feeling all of it, like every punch, every toss down, every whip, every experience, the suffocation, the whatever it is. When you allow yourself to experience all of that and still choose God and still choose love. changes the vibration of your being, right? So there are those people that along their path, they made choices and it didn't, they didn't make it from love. I know I've done it, right? I made decisions or allowed myself to believe that I was better than a situation or something because I needed to feel that. I didn't want to experience the painful experience of accepting another human being's perceptions. Um, so I allowed myself to think that I was better than um, and righteous, right? That's such a good one, right? That we are superior and in a righteous place. Um, 
in the experience, right? So guilty, totally done it. <laughs> totally done it. Um, and because I'm aware of having done it um, and what it feels like in my being, I know that it's not the end solution. I know that when I come to that place of feeling that that is not the end solution, that there is something that else needs to be addressed in order for me to come into the vibration that I'm meant here to be. Right? In order to be in harmony with, to be one with, to be free. In order to experience freedom, one must choose God or source. You, we have all different names for it. We have all different names for the Almighty, for the Creator, right? I often refer to it as Mother, Father, God, right? Universal energy, source energy, the vibration, the vibration to which I speak for every last one of them is the same. There is no difference of the name, excuse me, there is no difference of the vibration, however the name can change. Each one of us was meant to have an experience that brought us in to the center of everything to add these colors and flavors and designs to it all. We were all meant to. So there are people that are walking in here who are connected to source energy, lit by the Christ-lighted grid, which is a trigger for some. However, they are very much connected to the Christ-lighted grid. And they may be a pagan, and they may be a Buddhist, and they may be a Taoist, they might be an atheist. I don't. We come in all. We were meant to come in all. How do you think that we were meant to collect everyone? We needed to speak a language that other beings could understand. However, we chose. We chose love. The majority of people that know that to be true, they know that there is no separation in the vibration, right? One of my favorites is I have a dear client who I love, elder, amazing being, amazing being. And she would say to me, not all Christians are Christian. Well, no shit. <laughs> right? Not all beings that hold a title or a name are what they say they are. They are not the representation of the energy to which it was created or to which it was intended to be. Just as much as God sent us beings in to collect the, the, the tribe, his children, to collect his children, so did the darker forces. To believe otherwise, to believe that they are not woven in, to believe that they are not using words that you will be fooled by is an illusion. In fact, they're banking on it. They're banking on the fact that if they drop a word that you're going to get caught up in the word and automatically think there's a relation between the two of them, between you and this other being, versus the vibration of the word. Okay? The vibration is within you. We're these musical instruments, right? We're playing sounds out there, right? We're calling in the tribe. We're making these sounds. Is the being standing in front of you making the sound vibration to which is in alignment with who you are? To your soul? Does it trigger you? Does it make you question things? Ask the questions. Ask the questions. Be unafraid of being in a question without an answer. It's okay to have a question without an answer until the answer comes to you. 
I know I don't always like, I don't like that at all, actually. I'm just saying, I don't like it at all. However, it is okay <laughs> to sit in a question without an answer. Until it is known. As we move forward, spread that love light as bright and shiny as you are able at any given moment and be unwavering from it. Be unwavering. Know that you are safe in the light. For I hear it over and over again, over and over again. God calls on his shepherds. The shepherds have been called. Be strong, hold your staff. Your staff is your spine, it is your integrity. If you do not walk with one, know it is always with you. I thank you for listening. Use these days, fill the air with joy, the waters with love. As you drink water, every drop of water going into your body, pray over it. I dare you, I dare you to pray over the cup of water before you put it in your, in your mouth. I dare you to pray over the earth and the land, the air, the water. Pray over the waters coming into your pipes. Pray over the water going underneath your house. Pray. And everyone's prayer is so different. So please don't get caught up in the prayer, right? A mantra, a prayer, a spell. What is it that you cast upon the lands and the earth? Fuel it with love. Fuel it with love. For love always wins. Thank you. I love you. I am honored and grateful and I love you so much. So much. Those light beings holding it down right now. Thank you. Continue to pray for those who hurt. It's like they're stuck in purgatory, right? They will get there. They will. Thank you. Check out my YouTube page, The House of Kai. I am Kaidim. Have a blessed day.